uh, pulling some red shirts there. Well, Andre wasn't pulling a red shirt. Right. We I already played him, and I said as soon as he got healthy and was able to go, we we're going to play him, and, and uh, um, he did some good things. And you know, like I said, our future is very good. We're playing some young kids with Lincoln and Roderick. We felt like we need, to, you know, as we look through, as we go through the process of building a program, is that uh, Roderick is a very strong, physical young kid, and. Um, you know, felt like he could help us with some of the injuries in the kicking game, and plus he, he brings a physical presence at running back. And uh, we, you know, you look through uh, the great players here, and you look at Marion Barber and Roney, and those people come through there. He's a 238-pound running back that we felt let's give him some experience over this next six or seven ball games so next year we won't have so many guys. That, you know, so I think there's just a fine line. And same with Lincoln. We you know we're red shirt and he said, instead of redshirt and two or three tight ends, let's, let's play one a little bit here. And he's 268 pounds and, and a true freshman. So, you know, give, give them some experience. So, you know, you learn a little bit when you go to Iowa City. You don't want to go with all freshman redshirt. You want to give them a little bit of experience. And we're such a young team. We felt we were going to do that with, the, with a few kids. And we chose those youngsters. And, and they, to be honest with you, I think it paid, paid off because I thought they both did some good things. Coach, you talk about turning over the ball, but how difficult it is to win when you don't create? You know. Yeah, I think it's a two, two-pronged two, two deal, but, you know, the, the number one thing is it doesn't matter if you watch baseball right now, uh, you watch any sport, the team that makes the least mistakes usually wins. So, well, however you want to put that, in, and, and then when you don't create a few turnovers or what I call make some plays, you know, then you're going to be in trouble. So it's a two-fold thing, but... Uh, it's, and then in athletics, most of the time, uh, there's not somebody that wins, somebody loses. And the, and the team that makes the least amount of mistakes usually wins. Yeah, you got both touch, two touchdowns on turnovers. They really didn't earn much. Well, that's, that's, that's just like I just said, is that, uh, you know, when you turn the ball over and, um, you know, they score both times off turnovers, that's the ball game. And uh, so, and you, got, you know, we talk about it all the time. and. And, uh, you know, got to take care of the football. You got to make good decisions. And, and uh, you know, we turn it over and, and they capitalize on it. But give them credit for doing that. You know, that's how they won. That's how Northwestern, that's kind of, you know, what they've done. They, they make you, if you make a mistake, they make you pay for it. And they've been very good at it, not just this year, but in the years past. Did Craig do enough if he's healthy to, to, to put him back in the starting position? We'll worry about right now. We, we, have, we have, he's not healthy. And, and uh, we got a lot of people in unhealthy. So until we get to, to Tuesday and see where we're at on the, the health deal, I mean, that's a question I really can't answer.